Hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. This is a news item. Yesu have just announced a new HF transceiver, the FT710710, which covers 160 meters through to 6 meters and also includes 4 meters. So great rig for those that are interested in sporadic E. But the interesting thing about this transceiver is that it's a direct development from the FTDX101 and the FTDX10. The changes to this design are primarily in its size. It's somewhat smaller. It's just nine inches or nine and a half inches wide, but about three inches tall and 12 inches deep with a full colour screen approximately four and a half inches. So it's quite a compact rig indeed and it would certainly be great for portable operation. So what are its primary features? Well as I said it's been modelled on the FTDX 10 series. It's got front end band pass filters for the hand band so the front end should be very clean and the receiver design again is modelled on the FTDX uh, uh, 101 series. It's got a built-in antenna tuner. It's also seemed to be aimed at FT8. It's got a preset mode for FT8. Now, I don't know too much about what that preset mode is, but obviously FT8 is becoming a very popular mode these days. And to have a preset mode modelled for FT8 is certainly going to be an attractive feature for many ham radio operators. The power rating is 100 watts. It says 5 to 100 watts. And it weighs 4.5 kilos, so it's not overly heavy. I, I suspect that um, it would certainly be attractive for, as I think I've already said, portable operators. And I guess you could put it into a, a, a vehicle and uh, use it as a mobile rig. Oh, interestingly enough, it also has a socket on the rear for an external display screen. In actual fact, if you look at the, the photo that we've got on this video, you'll realise that it shows an external display. Now, that's going to be an attractive feature for other people because despite the fact that it's got a fairly small colour screen, for base station use, you can have a much larger screen at a very nominal amount of uh, extra cash because these screens these days are not overly expensive. So it's quite an attractive rig for both portable, mobile and base station use. Now we don't have the price at the moment. I suspect it's coming at a fairly competitive price and the delivery is anticipated to be September and we should be putting this rig up on our website very shortly um, and we'll be taking pre-orders for it. Hopefully we'll have a price for you very quickly. Um, usually Yesu follow up the announcement with, a, with a, a retail price. So as soon as we know that, we'll put it on our website. As I say, check our website and once it's up there, you'll be able to pre-order it. Although not groundbreaking, one feature I like about this radio is the fact it's got a front facing speaker. Now it might be a small thing, but a front facing speaker is a particular advantage, particularly for those that have uh, hearing problems. So that's uh, quite an interesting feature. Anyway, um, I anticipate that the full spec will be on, up on our website, maybe um, as soon as you watch this video, but certainly very shortly after you watch this video. So it's good news to hear that Yesa are still producing new rigs and uh, I anticipate this rig is going to get a lot of interest, particularly if it comes in at the right price. We shall have that information fairly soon, I hope. In the meantime, keep an eye on our website. Thank you for your support. And as I say, if you're interested in this rig, um, check our website. And of course, if you're interested in part exchange, we'll be only too happy to consider part exchange deals. So, a short video, news item, but a very exciting news item, I think. There we are. Thanks for watching. You take care. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.